that's your excuse? Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and... You really look quite dashing in Black Velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. Yes? How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Hmm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. Deserter from the Sky of Ten. In the heart of the Sit in what can Geralt and Yennefer would be united. Something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar. And she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Come on! Who will protect this poor from the cutthroats? Who, I ask? Do not cast him. What do you want? Rejoice, 
For even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. All right, I'll take care of it. This will count amongst your merits. The more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set alight, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky, for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. grave. Now for the holy oils. Hope they burn well. for a shot of Igni. Go! Slow now.
for a shot of Igni. Come on! Shit, I'm still alive. If it ain't that fucking priest, it's corpse eaters. I'm done with this damn town. A priest? We'd agreed to meet as usual. Just a larger delivery. Good customer, I thought. Then they whipped out our blades. We still talking about a priest of the eternal fire? I'd say so. Beat stained pricks can't be trusted. This one had ordered premium grade fist tech from me three times, everything perfect. But the fourth, his man came at us with knives, sought to knock us out of trade. Shoved me in that ditch with the corpses. Must have thought the ghouls would take care of the rest. And to make sure, he hired a witcher to burn the bodies, destroy any evidence. A witcher? Meaning you? So what now? Nothing. Didn't pay me to burn the living. Oh, thank the gods, it's true what they say. Though mutants, you live by a code. Oh, thank you, Witcher. for a shot of Igni. Alone.
Come on now. Take it easy. 